One of the most exciting parts of our road trip was heading to the Bay of Islands where we met up with Bonds from Bonds Lures. What's up? Not much, how are you? Yes, you brought the rain. <laughs> yep. He was more than happy to share his wealth of knowledge with me and he helped me with everything from rigging up the lures to setting up the boat for game fishing. My whole thing is just about, I sell you a handful of lures, that's cool, yeah. but my whole thing about is the thing that gets overlooked the most is the boat set up and yeah. that's really important to get, to get right, it's 50% of the job. So what I'd suggest is you fish as much the same line weight as possible. Yeah. Because the only reason I say that is if you go out and say you get multiples on, yeah. if you've got different line classes and they touch, the yeah. light one will always cut the heavy one. Okay. So it's the opposite to what you think. Yeah. Okay, so with your gear, when you go to pick it, make sure you pick um, as close to the similar line weights as okay. possible. If you've got all 80, use all 80. If you've got all 50, use all 50. Most likely going to be 30s. So. Yeah. I really want you to run all four lures out of the riggers. Okay. Okay? Yeah. It's really important because that's, like if I was going to do one thing to a boat before I did anything gear-wise of that, I would make sure all four lures are running out of the riggers. Okay. I don't know why it works, but I've been doing this for a very long time, and the amount of boats that we change and put all four lures up into the riggers, the difference from never seeing fish to being able to see fish and potentially catch fish now is like that. Okay. You want to have your longest lures, like with the rod holders, yep. the easiest way to think about it is the longest lures have the highest rod tips. Okay. The yep. shortest lures have the flattest rod tips. So as you're staggering back, the rods go down, the rod tips go down. The other thing that we want to do is make sure that all your rod tips are within easy reach. I mentioned a couple of things. You're going to use a wind on leader, right? Yes. Okay. So first thing we want to do is measure how far, how long you've made your, your leaders. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because it's really important. With the yeah. wine on leader, uh, you want the lure to slide up the trace at least yeah. like 12 feet. Okay. Okay. Um, and the reason for that is one, you're trying to get the lure as far away from the fish as possible on the wine on leader. So when it comes up jumping, it's got the least leverage to, 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 throw, the, to throw the hook. In all honesty, I know it's not 12 feet, but if you go with that nine feet, what yeah. you can do, it'll be, it'll be good. But for your future ones, yeah. Make them 12 feet if you 12, can. Got okay. It. So the reason I say like uh, nine feet will be good because you normally have a three foot arm or close to three yeah. foot arm with a bit of a reach, and you normally have a six foot tag pole. So if okay. you're going to tag a fish with a nine foot leader, you don't even have to trace the fish; it'll just be right. Yeah. By the time the swivels of the rod tip, it'll be right there, yeah. and you can go like that. So you'll get away with it. But for future, just make your leader a little bit longer, got just it. for those, like just for that extra little bit of distance away. Yeah. From the fish and that's why the lure is designed to slide up the up the trace so it's got away it. so you've yeah. only got hooks in the fish yeah you know so um yeah so that's uh, that's that's your um your rigging and i'm going to show you a few things here okay see how you've crimped the crimp all the way to the end yeah with mono you don't do that okay so i'm going to show you the proper way to crimp as well yeah i'm going to give you one that's like a, a rig that's already done yeah and you can copy how i do it okay Got it. right right i can't guarantee every single one of these leaders is the exact same length but it will right. be around that why not because it was my first time actually rigging those okay so when we do it everything we're going to do i'm going to yep. give you lengths i'm going to give you measurements you keep it in a book or on your phone yep. and you make everything exactly the same okay and that's how we're going to approach the marlin fishing and that's how we're going to approach setting up the boat everything yep is a system okay it's like step by step by step yeah and the reason is everything's the same you pick it up doesn't matter what rod it goes on everything it's all the same yeah okay and it's going to make it really easy it just takes out factors that can go wrong yeah okay so when we do it you need to make every single leader yeah the same say you're going to cut 10 liters yep. you go to your book oh i need to cut 12 feet okay okay i'm going to show you guys how to crimp properly i'm just um Grab my crimp, put my bit of tubing on. Feed back through. I just want to grab uh, the lighter and burn the end here. That's those two things. It stops the leader sliding through the crimp, which will allow you to pull pull the loop a lot easier without the tag end sliding in. The other thing it does 
is it gets you in the habit of checking your crimp before you get to the end get uh, go to crimp and make sure it's done properly every time because it's a process also having that tag in in there always slide your tubing to the tag in the burnt end and what it'll do what it'll allow you to do as you pull it up it'll create a loop perfectly every time you won't be fighting the tubing so I'll show you how to crimp it so with the crimper just make sure you get it in the right hole this is a 2mm crimp so it'll be a 2mm in the 2mm drawer which is that one come back a couple of mil from the end on the mono crimp it down nice and tight do the same on the other end crimp it down nice and tight and then flip it over in between the two crimp it down nice and tight again and that'll give you a nice even crimp like that which will be perfect so the other thing I, I did notice is the the steering wheel yeah. you either want to get a new like a steering wheel with a with a power ball on it or put a power ball on that um, on that on the wheel because like when you're doing the game fishing you've got to be able to maneuver quickly yeah. so if you have one hand on the power and one hand on the wheel it's very easy if you don't have that ball you'll need three hands you know yeah so that that would be a big thing I'd put on the next boat okay. and if you could find one for super cheap or something just for yeah. this trip mate I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd put it on there and what you'll find as well it's just putting the boat on the trailer coming out to wharves all that kind of thing will be so much easier yeah you know because you've actually got like what gives you control on these boats is power okay first thing if you get a hit is just slowly slow the boat down okay bring it bring it back to a manageable speed like a, just above idle yep. and start to clear the gear you know and then once the fish is ripping line take it out of gear because the biggest biggest thing i see with guys is they get a bite and they just keep the boat driving yeah. And, and you're trying to, at this st stage, minimise the amount of line that you're losing. You want to manage how much line is, is, is being lost. Yeah. So you driving that way at 8 knots and the fish going that way at 20 knots or whatever it is, you're just you're going to be away from the fish very quickly. Yeah. If you slow down and you're just tagging along, the fish is doing all the work, you know? Yeah. So uh, you, you'll find that, um, that you'll be able to stay a lot closer to the fish. Okay. And it's either hooked or it's not. Yeah. Go, keep it as simple as possible. Put four rods out, no teasers, no nothing. And then the, the great thing about that starting that way, you can add all those pieces of the yeah. puzzle, the dredges and the teasers in for next time and you'll be a, a fully drilled crew by that stage, yeah. you know, so you'll be able to handle a bit more gear. Yeah. But it's such a fallacy that, you know, you put more rods out, you're gonna catch more fish. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't work like that in this kind of fishing, you know. Four lures and wait till the reel makes a noise because you're, you've been concentrating on where you're fishing, watching your sound and watching your bait, watching your birds around mm -hmm. and you want to just uh, wait till that reel makes a noise, mate, eh? Yeah. And then everybody will panic. <laughs>